I'm just going to comment on this stuff, you know, this is fun, I like this, you know, this is a cop, this, 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 this is... Hey my friend, Jean-Serge Gagnon here, and today we want to talk about focusing and tracking your Facebook. Do you ever feel like you're wasting your time on Facebook, going through the news feed, going through the, the posts in groups, and just engaging on stuff randomly and it's just not working you're gonna you were gonna talk about getting more sales focusing and tracking your activities and how to do that in a way that's really easy and we're gonna get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. Oh my god, sorry about that <laughs> little break. Sorry I was uh, navigating around. Anyways, so we're going to talk about Facebook, tracking your activities and focusing your activities and how you can do that then before we go into that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio you're gonna to want to go check out the video and the blog post at cis462.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen I'll be kind of explaining all this to you and uh, so let's get right to it let's get right to it let's do that share my screen okay so let's first let's talk about what do we mean by focusing and what do we mean by tracking right obviously and whenever we say that to anybody there's all sorts of different definitions or feelings or thoughts that come to the to, to track right like you know some some will think like oh well if i have to focus that means i'm i'm it's boring i'm not doing the things i want and whatever right and if i have to track i don't have time to track you know tracking takes so much time it's so ugh, i don't like doing that i'd rather just you know let God or the universe decide for me. I just take the actions and let that decide. But you know, if you've been doing that, I, you know, you probably already realize, you probably already know if you do that. I've been doing that, well, not anymore, but in the beginning, uh, since uh, the first couple of years that I was online, I was just, you know, following the things. I was doing the actions. Leaders told me, you know, post every day, comment on everything, uh, react, to co react to people's comments, uh, respond to their comments, send them private messages, all these things, right? And the thing is, I was doing it kind of randomly because I didn't really want to have time to f track things. And so let's kind of define what I mean by that, right? So focusing means, it means being um, on a, what can I say, not, not necessarily a schedule, um, but, but knowing what you're going to do. Let's just, let's just say that. Knowing what your activities are, right? Um, also... Um, taking a specific amount of time to do specific specific actions all right so that's basically what focusing is all about it's just taking those specific actions and knowing what those actions are now we talk about planning we talk about having a vision of where you're going all those different things but right now we're just talking about focusing focusing your activities right focusing let's just say uh, over here let's say focusing your activities <laughs> right <coughs> oops sorry so i mean if you're on facebook if you're going through the news feed right if i go to facebook here right i just should go say to facebook um and if you're just on Facebook, you're just going through the news feed uh, like that. Well, I just want to load. But if I just go like this, I'm not, you know, I could, you could say that I'm focused on, you know, going through the feed and spending half an hour a day going through the feed and commenting on the stuff that shows in, in my feed, right? But the problem is, well, yeah, I, I probably don't have to explain to you. The problem is that the feed is what is not what you want to see. It's what Facebook thinks you want to see based on the actions you took in the past. That's just kind of how it works. Facebook will show you stuff based on your past activities, based on your past action. Now, me, because I've been using a process, I do mostly see 
things in my feed that are related to what I'm actually interested in because I really have tuned the, you know, if you will, the engine or the algorithm, the Facebook algorithm to know exactly what I like to do because I'll be engaging on posts that have to do with either specific people or specific topics or specific types of types of posts right so Facebook will kind of show me those things but still in the beginning you certainly do not have that control now that's why leaders tell you go to groups go into groups that your target market is in right so define your target market define your avatar know who it is you're trying to sell to all that good stuff and then go in those groups where those people are now it's it's not as easy as it sounds because you might not you might be in the group that has lots of the people that are interested or or what your you you think your avatar is right but then again you're still randomly like say i go to groups right here i see the group feed right it's either the group feed which in case you don't know facebook has a group feed which is basically posts from different groups that you're in that it thinks you're going to be interested in so again it's just the feed if you're randomly engaging in the feed then you're basically just doing what facebook wants you to do you're giving facebook the information the activities that it wants from you because that's what it needs to write to grow their advertising and you know all those things right that they want to make money right just like anybody else right so the other option you have is you actually go into the groups and you go specific to the group like you know if I go to one of these uh, I'm in a lot of make money online groups or you know affiliate marketing groups and that kind of stuff so if I just go say for example to well let's go to high side hustle for generating money I just click on it and oh I guess they changed this now oh no okay so it loads up the group itself so you go to the group itself this is the group itself a particular group right and these are all posts in that group now that's what leaders tell you to do is go into groups right don't go to the feed the random feed but still Facebook is going to show you the posts that it thinks are more important to see based on the activities of that particular post based on how long it was posted who posted it that kind of stuff so you're not necessarily going to see the posts in the group in the order they were posted so you're still kind of randomly going through a group you're still kind of randomly just engaging on stuff now that's what I what I'm talking about when I talk about focusing when I talk about focusing I talk about focusing on specific posts as well so let's just add that to here um, um, engaging on specific posts based on specific rules <clears throat> now if you were doing this manually what that would mean it would mean that you would go through the feed and you might say you know what I'm just gonna post on um, I'm just gonna comment on posts of people's pictures their faces if they have a picture of their face like see I'm not gonna comment here oh this one I'm gonna comment on this one I'm not this one I'm not you know you can decide that right obviously the other thing you can do too is you can say I'm gonna comment only on posts that talk about um, you know being positive like this one here says encouraging everyone here to keep crushing it right so I'm just gonna comment on those right uh, you know this is just you know why I started this right and that kind of stuff so I mean you can make a decision as to what kinds of posts you're engaging on so as you go through the feed you can decide well I'm gonna comment only on posts that have more than 20 comments right if they have less than 20 comments yeah uh, like this one has well they all have a lot this is a group that's I guess it's quite active well this one here doesn't look like it have any, any comments so I wouldn't comment on it right kind of thing uh, this one has only 17 so I wouldn't comment on it this one has six I wouldn't comment on it and oh and now by the way the reason why we saw all those posts at the top here with all the comments is because that's what Facebook does it'll show you at the top of the feed the posts with the most engagement because you know logically I guess from a programming perspective from a you know from a algorithm algorithmic perspective if there's more comments that means it's a post that's more interesting that more people are going to be interested in so they think well you're going to be interested in it too because it's more you know there's more stuff <clears throat> but that doesn't necessarily mean that you know some viral comments like a joke or something that's just for fun right would have lots of comments but it might not bring you any kind of value uh, or to anybody uh, that's in those in that post to actually comment on it might not bring any value to that person right because <clears throat> really if you're trying to build a business online what you wanted what you're trying to do is you're trying to get people to know like and trust you so they buy from you right 
<coughs> and so they uh, get to know who you are. They get to know. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> they get to know who you are. They get to like you, and they eventually trust you. So then they'll buy from you because they're like this. This guy or this gal is is great. I I think they're they're doing something awesome. Let I'll support them. Right. And the only reason that they do that is because they know, like, and trust you. If they don't, if you're not in there, if you're not commenting, if you're not engaging, they will never get to know you, right? <coughs> I mean, there is the whole attraction marketing uh, process where you, you just post content every day, right? And then people eventually see your stuff and eventually like you. But again, that's random. That's not focused. All right, so that's, that's about focusing. Let's talk about tracking. What do I mean by tracking your activities on Facebook? <coughs> so tracking means knowing how many posts you commented on in a day, let's say, right? In a day, in a week, in a month, whatever. Knowing how many comments you uh, posted, right? Knowing, knowing how many times you, um, you, you well, let's say visited. You visited, whoops, visited someone's, someone's profile, right? So why do I say visited the profile? I mean, you go to, say I'm going through the feed here, <coughs> whoops, so I'm going through the feed here, and I see MC Ozo here, he's a new guy, he's saying something, or it's a new lady, I'm not sure, but anyways, I click on their, on their name here, and I go to their profile, which is, this is their Facebook profile, by the way. Then I click on these three little dots, view main profile, right? That takes me to their main profile. So now I visited MC, MC Oso's profile. I visited his profile today. That's one time today, right? And I look through his feed. I see he's got reels. He's got, well, that's pretty much all he's got. But anyways, we'll get into that in a second. But um, that's kind of what I mean by visited a profile, right? So if I, oops, wrong. Where's the where's the notes? The notes are here. Let's make this a little bit bigger so I can get into it. All right, so <clears throat> so that's how many times you visit someone's profile. And what else do we want to know, right? Knowing, uh, I guess those numbers. That's really just numbers. And then there could be also uh, knowing uh, what stage a prospect is at, right? So knowing what stage of prospect is that, like for example, is this a prospect that's never heard of you? Is this a prospect that's that knows a little bit about you? Is this a prospect that you've had contact with? Is this a prospect that you've had you've you know done your sales pitch to? Is it a prospect that actually bought something from you? Is it a customer? Right? Where are they at? So that's what tracking is all about: is knowing those things. If you don't know those things, now obviously we want to know also. We want to also know how many sales, right? How many sales? How many? How many uh, page visits? You know, all those other things that are all just like. And this is not really Facebook related. This is kind of like you know the normal. What do you track, right? <clears throat> so many. So that stuff is obviously not. Uh, Facebook necessarily directly right because you can't I mean yeah you can if you're doing ads you, there's all sorts of th tools you can use to track that stuff but we're not really talking about that here today but I just kind of want to make sure that you that is part of tracking right using uh, the, the Facebook pixel or Google insight tag or or even uh, LinkedIn tags and Pinterest tags and TikTok tags and all those different tags on your blog and things like that right we're not we're not going to get into those details but that's kind of what tracking is all about. All right, so now how do you do this? How do you focus your activities, right? So focusing activities would begin with defining what activities you want to be doing. So let's just go back here and say, okay, so how do you uh, focus your activities, right? So how do you focus your activities? Well, number one, you have to decide what you will do um based on schedule right so you could have a, a daily schedule a weekly schedule a monthly schedule whatever you want to do right and you choose your schedule but let's say we, we just do a daily schedule right <clears throat> so for example for example uh you could have you could have a daily schedule daily schedule of um i don't know 30 minutes a day so a daily schedule of, let's do that like this. <coughs> so 30, 
uh, minutes per day in feed in in, in uh, commenting on posts commenting on posts all right so you could have that 30 minutes a day on commenting on posts you could also do um uh what else you could also say uh five private messages to new people per day right let's say you, you decided that so whatever you decide right it could be number of friend requests you send out it could be <clears throat> number of followers new followers you find it could be number of uh you know com a number of actual posts you comment on right amount of time like say we do uh, uh let's say we do uh, uh let's say we do 20 to 30 posts commented on right let's say we do that 20 30 posts commented on let's say we say uh 10 to 20 profiles visited right so how would you I mean okay let's say you decide that right let's say you decide that that's your activities I want to be focused I want to do the same thing every day that I'm doing now I'm already commenting on stuff I'm already going through the the uh, post I'm looking at people's profiles things like that but I want to be focused you want to be focused and you want to do it for like six months a year you want to do the same activities but you want to be focused right focused and then we'll talk about tracking but let's say you want to be focused and let's say that that's what you decide is your focus right <clears throat> let's say you decide that that's your focus right you want to focus um on, on let's say something like this right let's say you want to do this right let's say that is what you decide to do you're you're going to focus on this you're going to say every day i'm going to spend 30 minutes maximum on posts wouldn't that be awesome if you could just spend just 30 minutes uh, by the way i'm going to show you a way you can do that because i'm sure that if you've been posting on facebook you've been spending a lot more than 30 minutes a day you might be spending 10 minutes in the morning another 10 minutes another 15 another 30 minutes another hour you might be spending four hours a day on facebook constantly all the time looking at stuff right and you're not even commenting you're just going through the feed you're just wasting all your time in the Facebook feed because that's what Facebook wants you to do right so what if you could just spend 30 minutes and actually be productive right <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how to do that but let's say we do that you're going to comment on 20 to 30 posts in a day you're going to actually you know through the through the time that you have your 30 minutes you're going to actually going to go and comment on posts well how do you how do you do that how is it possible to comment on 30 posts in 30 minutes <clears throat> in a way that's well that's what's the other thing tracking focusing in the way that's focused how how is that possible right because you know if I just go through the feed sure I can comment on 30 things like totally unrelated stuff I can say haha on some funny posts and I can say wow and I can say you know just things like that I'm not talking about that I'm talking about real good comments comments that are actually related to what the person posted comments that they're actually gonna enjoy seeing that they're actually gonna like they're gonna like you for it by the way they're gonna like you that's what you've got to be doing and then you're gonna be visiting 10 to 20 profiles every day so what does that mean right I mean if I'm going through the feed here if I go back to the feed <coughs> and I look at the feed of a particular group what does that mean I got to click on this name here Christine Sadler and I'm gonna go look at her profile to decide whether I want to comment on her stuff it's it takes forever to do that right because that's why people just go to the feed they just go to the feed this is the feed of Facebook this is the feed of the news feed of the actual of the platform right just the feed here people that's why people just go through the feed and they just like you know what I'm just gonna comment on this stuff you know this is fun I like this you know this a cop this 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 is whatever <laughs> nice picture nice kids you know I'm just going to comment on that stuff right that's easy it's easy that's the easiest way to do it right just go through the feed just comment on the stuff that's the simplest way to do it right but it's not focused it's not tracked you have no clue now you can you know if I go to my my um my own profile when you go to your own profile page right you can go in here and the three little dots and then you can go into uh, activity log right here can you see it oh you can't see it 
scroll down a bit you can go to activity log right here right and in here you can see videos you've searched for videos you've watched search history groups you've searched for comments group posts and comments so I can go to comments here and I can see you know every day I can look at this I can say okay I have Jer here Wes here Deborah Christina and Aaron Caris, right so I can count these I can see okay look yesterday I did one two well today actually one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven comments so far yesterday I did one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen still loading 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 so I did 22 comments yesterday so typically I actually took notes here the other day but typically I do I do 30 27 38 14 42 12 42 5 so I do like you know 20 to 30 comments a day kind of thing <clears throat> and by the way if you do uh, if you do that regularly you should be fine but if you have not commented on stuff don't start doing 30 right away you got to do like maybe five or ten for a while before you go to the next level because Facebook is watching your changes in your activities and if it if you do something too fast they're not gonna like it they're gonna put you in what's called Facebook jail where you can't comment maybe or you can't react to posts or things like that right okay so that's kind of you can track that way you can go back through here you just go do it on the feed and then but the problem there is that you're doing it randomly you don't want to be doing it randomly right okay and then let's say we send five I actually don't do that I should be doing that but I'm not uh, sending messages but you definitely should be doing that to grow your audience but who do you send messages to how do you decide that you you're ready that the person's ready to send message to what if you knew when they were ready to send messages that would not be the best right if you knew that they that you've engaged with them enough and that they've seen your stuff and that they've commented on your or reacted to your comments or responded to your comments or things like that <coughs> they kind of have a clue of who you are that's when you private message them not when they have no clue who you are and you're just spamming them your product or your offer or whatever so that's focusing all right so now uh how do we track so how do we track our Facebook activities <clears throat> well like I said the one way to do it is by going to your comments right you can go to your activity history you go into interactions there's likes and reacts other others post to your timeline your post other like all these things are all here right <coughs> the reviews pokes questions I mean everything's here Facebook has a pretty good Oh, I'm sorry Facebook has a pretty good uh, list of things but it's not it's not easy to track that from a day-to-day -day basis you have to basically have to go through all this and just count them and whatever I which is what I did the other day I counted them here right <coughs> and that's that's kind of what I did uh, to just give you an idea but there is a better way there really is a better way and um, and yeah let's let's talk about the better way of tracking <coughs> so you know you want to track so you want to well actually we have that already here how many posts you comment on in a day now that you we just saw in Facebook you can do that by going to the uh, activity log and looking at your comments you can see how many posts you commented right then you can also how many times you visit someone's profile that would take a lot of work to go through this but you could you know see right here this is Kajev this is Wasif this is Deborah this is Christina and then so I could actually take all these these things here right and I can actually put them in some spreadsheet or something and then you know every time I see Kajal's name it just does a plus one for me or whatever but that's uh, I sorry but I don't I don't want you to be doing that that's way too much work I don't know if there's an other way with Facebook I haven't found a way to do that <coughs> but what I do is I use a tool called active group users all right so a tool that I created that tool um, basically what it does first it gets the users in groups that are active all right so it what it does here's well actually you know what I'm not even gonna talk about what the tool does I'm gonna tell, talk about how you use the tool so let's reopen this right here and we can talk about what the tool does afterwards but for now let's just say let's talk about how you use it so once you've used the tool for a while you'll have data which with is a list of people that are active in groups right because if I look at the list that I have here when I load this up it shows me the list of people that are actually active 
in or not active I guess it shows me the list of people that come that posted in a group that that I chose I chose groups like see right here click for those Avengers rank marketers uh, ways to make money uh what else is there there's digital mentors here there's over online marketing so there's a couple of different groups I chose and I just told it go find people in those groups that are go find who's commenting go find who's well, who's posting in those groups <coughs> and then when you look at these names here there's numbers right here if I, if I click at the Facebook comments that's FC right here is the Facebook comment so this will show me how many comments this person has if I mouse over you can see it says number of comments in the last 30 days by this user right so this user Chris Zabish here he has 163 comments in the last 30 days um, Nathan here has 102 comments Baxter has 87 Eli has 82 Aldo has 82 right so that's the number of comments that that person has posted in the last so obviously the people that have the most comments are the most active right they're very active 34 32 32 31 25 23 right so these are people that are actually active in the groups that are commenting in the groups that are uh so in other words answering questions or things like that if you want to see who's posting in the groups you know the people that are actually posting questions you know i can press on the fp which is number of posts in the last 30 days by this users so it'll search for me in here right so ray uh, jay-z ellis zach so these people have posted 45 40 28 27 so that so that lets me find the users that are active in the groups that I choose and basically you know from all your you know training that you've done that the most important thing you can do is find the groups that your target market is in so just find the groups you probably already know what groups they are then you they tell you to go in the group and comment on stuff but you're not tracking you have no clue you're not focused you're just just doing that right which is okay but it's not focused and this is what this tool lets you do so with the list of people that are most active you can go and click on their names right here it even tells me how long ago it was since the last time I visited their po their profile see 217 days ago let's go to Mar Marianne here if I click her name it pops up a little summary of her uh of her uh post and the comment things like that if i click on her name again it takes me to their to directly to her facebook profile so that i don't have to go search for her and then i can look at the post that she's got in her page and i can decide whether i want to comment on them or not and whether i even can right so if i look at this you can see that this she doesn't even allow for uh public comments right they're all just share 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 so, so she has got public comments turned off I guess this one had one <coughs> this one had one and I already did comment on it uh, and there's the one so so in this case what I would do is I would just close this tab and then I would go back here and I was well actually it already says can't comment sorry and then I would add a note that says that it can't comment I would click on save so let's actually fix that let's go back in here and I want to say I want notes I want them that have no notes because the notes are meant to hide the ones that I don't want to see because they're not active or maybe they're not my target market or things like that now I go back through here and look at this Ray Higdon I visited 11 days ago let's click on his name and let's go to his profile <coughs> and by the way this can be a page as well it can be a, a you know public figure that kind of stuff so Ray might be his public figure I'm not sure yeah I think it is but in any case I'm just gonna let engage on this I'm just I love this right and this is where I'm talking about tracking I'm doing this is focused activity I have a list of people and I'm focusing on those people and imagine if I spend just if I just click each of those names right and I don't have to go search in the feed I don't have to go do anything like that I'm focusing on who it is and I'm just engaging on these posts right and I'm just going to say that's awesome oh, actually let before I do that I want to make sure this is actually his because I'm oh yeah this is somebody else who tagged Ray in which is fine but I'm going to say here <coughs> and then that's going to be right here I'm going to say you're so right and I'm just going to post a comment just a simple com now not obviously normally I would listen to the video a little bit and see what he's talking about and kind of specifically say and in this case I'm just going to like three posts I'm going to react to three posts I'm going to close the tab and then I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to say I commented on one post and I reacted to three posts I'm just going to save this now it says that I visited Ray just now 
so I know I don't visit them. So what I do, by the way, what I do with this is I I visit people every once in a while, like every six to seven days or ten days or something. Like this digital mentors is just a page. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. But see, I visited Brian two days ago, Judy eleven days ago. So let's go see Judy. I click on Judy right here. Again, it shows me the summary pop up, and then I can visit. Her. Then I can click her name to go visit her profile directly. It takes me straight to her profile. I'm not wasting time in the feed. I'm going straight to her profile, and I'm looking at their posts. So she's got a post here from May 21st, uh, and there you go. I'm just gonna and like my my computer's a little slow, I suppose, and I'm just gonna say, Nah, they sure do, right? Because she's talking about cats and dogs or I guess just dogs <coughs> and I'm gonna just uh, like this one as well no idea what that uh, was I didn't look but like I said I can you know like this as well now I go and I close it again I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna say I commented on one post I reacted to three po three posts I'm gonna save this now it says Judy is just now again now the other thing you'll notice right here is got these numbers that show me how many people I visited today and that's what I'm talking about tracking you I know exactly how many people see it this day on the 30th I actually didn't do any I have zero there because I didn't even take the time I, I, I forget what was going on that day but I just didn't have time to do any of it which normally I always do 20 every day right so I'm at 16 right now 23 yesterday this is number of reactions the number of comments right so 34 reactions 12 comments so far so that's kind of how it works I just and the other thing it can it shows me right here people I have not visited yet this says not yet so Andy Ortega here I've never visited his profile the tool knows that I've never visited them and the other thing that happens too <coughs> is that it'll track see how there's some that are hot some that are warm some that are none and some that are cold that's based on how many times I visited their profile see this one here I visited eight times and 23 whoops that's gonna no let's close that uh, so 23 and 8 23 and 8 right here I have 66 66 visits 24 visit 28 visit the first number right here is the number of times I that I basically clicked on this and visited their profile the tool keeps track of that so you know obviously if I if I visit somebody's profile and I comment on their post and I engage on their stuff they will start to notice me that's just how it is they're going to start to notice you you keep doing that they're going to start to notice you that's the, the the holy grail of attraction marketing is getting people to notice you and see your stuff so the first thing you do is you engage on their post you're doing what they want you to do because you're on Facebook they're on Facebook they're posting because they want people to comment and the fact that you comment on their stuff is going to help them their post to be seen by more people that's just what Facebook does right so by tracking it this way you can get to a point where you can reach out to these people and this is kind of what the tool lets you do so if I go for example let's take a look at <coughs> somebody who's hot right here Sean Asini actually I sent him a message so let's see if I have a hot and active okay this one here Lindsay it, I, I guess I visited her 36 times I commented on 30 99 posts so if I go to her profile <coughs> and actually it says right here that I visited 60 days ago okay so it's probably a good time to go visit her profile again and what I can do is I can go in here down here I can scroll down I can change the status to I can send her a private message and I can say I contacted her I can also say that I sent her a PM yes or no right here right and that lets me track when I sent the message whether I did or not that kind of stuff and if I mouse over these uh, these lists here you can see the total visits right 60 days ago 83 80, 92 whatever right so that's how many visits I've done for her to her and that's kind of what that is so there's all this information that's in here obviously it's a lot of information you don't necessarily need all this de these details but if you use a tool like this you'll definitely get to a point where you have and by the way to get this tool uh, you can get the tool at where's the link <clears throat> just looking for the link on my other screen here there you go so you can get this at activegroupusers.com there's actually a free trial and I'm doing a, a demo every week that you can actually get 
uh, one year access uh, at the advanced uh, like there's le levels of plans would let you more groups more data more things but anyways you can check that out I'm gonna actually post that actually if you go to the to activegroupusers.com you're gonna end up here right if you go to that page you're just gonna end up on this page here which is the about page which kind of explains a little bit there's a video here that's kind of talks about how to use it gives you a little bit of uh, information and then there's also uh, there's also information about how to join how to get your setup and everything else all right so hopefully this is going to help you to focus your activities to track your activities on Facebook and get you to where you want to get more sales from people because they will know like and trust you that's what the secret is get people to know like and trust you and this tool will help you to do that 10 20 X what you could do yourself all right let me know if you have any questions we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.